From Oaxaca, Mexico, I am your host, Mr. Bones, Senor Huesos to you. We have come to celebrate El Dia de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead, for you gringos out there. Originating thousands of years ago, it is still celebrated throughout Mexico. Preparations are just beginning, so let me introduce you to my living friends. <laughs> they are going to find out what this festival is all about. It all began with the ancient people of Mexico. They believed that death was just the beginning of the next stage of our beautiful existence. Once a year, we celebrate El Dia de los Muertos and pay tribute to our loved ones who have died. We make many offerings and celebrate with a big fiesta. Now, there is so much to prepare. Let's meet up with Derek and Eatsley now. Hi, I'm Derek. I'm from Michigan. I came down to Oaxaca, Mexico to learn about the Day of the Dead and I met this really cool girl named Easley. My name is Easley. I'm from Oaxaca. What is all of this? Is this for Halloween or what is it? No, this is Dia de los Muertos. Derek and I, we are just going to the market. We are going to buy all the things for the altar. La ofrenda. Some flowers. Las Flores. There is an ancient story by the Aztecs. An Aztec priest asked his god to send a sign that the dead were in the afterlife and would come back and visit. The next day, the land was covered in Sempasochil, marigold flowers, the flower of the dead. La flor se llama Sempasochil. Simboliza, pues, estamos celebrando los fieles difuntos. Oh, what are the candles for? The candles, like the path that is guiding the, the souls that is going to the altar. Las velas. Those are called calaveritas. Calaveritas. La calavera. A way that we have to make fun of the dead that can be represented in the skeletons. Las calacas. The skeleton is a symbol of life after death. You know, they're dead from, from us, but they're living a life somewhere, somewhere out there. They're still doing what makes them happy. El pan de muerto. What's the bread for? The Day of the Dead bread, we call it Pan de Muertos. 
that is just bread that is especially made for this occasion and just to offer to the people who have died. Uh, I thought just wow, a little piece. Too much. Just this a little like the piece. size of my head. <laughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> Most of them had little faces on them. It represents, you know, the dead person that they're celebrating. Gracias. Gracias. We also need to buy some papel picado. Come on. So those are papel picado. El papel picado. Soft paper in many different colors just for the altar. You see they have different, only different shapes like the skeleton or that is like... Looks like a casket. I see, I see. It's got, it's got a casket and angels on the side. Yeah, there are angels on the side. Yeah, you're right. Oh, there's a horse dragging the buggy. What color? The yellow one right there. See the oh, horse in the front yeah. dragging the skeleton in the buggy? Yeah. Better than this game at you than you are. Yeah, 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 I'm seeing. <laughs> To buy some chocolate. What's the, the chocolate for? And some mole. This some is mole. Holy mole. The mole is a, a special dish that we have here in Oaxaca. El mole. So just you decide how much cacao, cocoa you, okay. how much cocoa you want, and so how build, much su sugar. You build your own chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. So you decide how much you want to have inside. I've never had the option of building my own chocolate, ever. Very, very spicy. It's not like, you know, mm -hmm. in America we have the chocolate sweeter, but this is spicy. Spicy and sweet. Probably at the end you are gonna get used to it. You'll like it. Do I get some barbecue sauce or something with that? No, I just eat it that way. Just eat it like that? Yeah. Have they been prepared? El Chapulín. How is it? Come on, oh, you are brave. You can... Oh, I'm brave because I eat bugs. I did this when I was little. I just ate a Chapulín. Okay, today at the market we bought so many things for the altar. Candies, we bought some mole, we even bought some chapulines. When I saw the altar this morning, it was just the skeleton, the flowers, and the art. But you know, I, I didn't know really about the bread, the chocolate, the candy. I'm still trying to figure out what really the significance behind it, but slowly but surely I'm getting a hold of it. Back to our story. Here is my ofrenda, and here is a picture of me when I was still alive. Most homes in Mexico have altars just like this to honor their dead. The ofrenda has lots and lots of goodies. Flowers, fruit, and chapolinas. <laughs> Everything we got from the market. Hasta luego! I would like to go and see my friend Achilles. So we just went into Achilles' house and he showed us his altar. Yeah, friend days for the loved ones that has passed. The design of the altar had three steps to it. One was hell, earth, then heaven. On the top stair, they had their mole, the chili, the glass of water. The petals represent the path. And you let the spirits know where they're going. So they know it's stop by, and they have all their favorite foods there, and all that good stuff. Go ahead, take it. Try. So just put it. Ooh, it's, it's already hot, it's already hot. Yeah, it's hot, just, just throw it. <laughs> Another thing that they had on the altars was copal, which was like an incense. El copal. They believed helped raise their prayers up to heaven. Are you guys afraid of death as well? No. No. Oh, no. Alegría. That's happiness. Es alegría. Por eso el, el, el mexicano, el mexicano, pues juega con la muerte. Le hace poemas a la muerte. Inclusive hay hasta canciones para la muerte. 
por eso hacen las figuras riéndose de Cat, por le llaman la Catrina, la pelona, la huesuda. Muchas gracias. Para servirles. Muchas gracias. It was very nice of them to include me into their offering by letting me lay down pedals for the path and doing, to put the plate on top of the altar. Now I'm definitely feeling like I know a little bit more about what, what it's all about and where they're coming from with all this. Because when I got off the plane yesterday, I had no idea about any of this. And you know, slowly I'm grasping on to what the whole holiday is and where they're coming from and why this makes them so happy. I I, I, I. Whoa, I did not see you there. I, you know, before the festival, we clean and decorate all the graves to prepare for the arrival of those who have died. For the next two nights, we are going to have a big fiesta with all of our dead relatives in the pantheons or cemeteries for you gringos. We want to make it not only beautiful, but fun. Tonight, the fiesta begins. Oh! Hey, hey. So, what is this? Now we are here at the Panteón General. The Pante, uh, Panteon? Panteón? El Panteón. And you see also people is working here. Do they put the ofrendas in here as well? It's not as big as the ofrenda, but they still have to work on this. Hola, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. ¿Trabajando? Sí, aquí acomodando las flores. ¿Cuánto tiempo han estado trabajando? Pues la verdad aquí como ya tiene mucho tiempo, nada más se viene un día antes a lavar y a limpiar. Is this a relative of theirs? Sí, es un familiar el que se encuentra aquí. Mi bisabuela. The 31st of October was sort of a day of preparation where everyone went to the market to get stuff for the ofrendas, cleaned the graves, started preparing. La tumba. It's All Saints Day, the day where they celebrate the dead children. Día de los Angelitos, that is, that we are celebrating the kids when they died in childhood. Vienen el primero de noviembre, vienen y juegan con sus perros, vienen y juegan con sus juguetes. La Plantas de Arena, where the, the sand sculptures that they had, that blew any sand castle I've ever seen out of the water. Esta tradición viene de este tiempos prehispánicos. Entonces esto nuestra nuestra cultura siempre ha tenido referencia hacia la muerte, cierto respeto sobre este día en especial de muertos. On November 2nd is Day of the Dead, the day that we all came for. It's a day to celebrate the dead adults. Right now we're in the graveyard in Oaxaca and there are just it's probably hundreds, there's hundreds of people in here celebrating the loss of their loved ones. It's amazing how they all get together like this and celebrate. It'd just be so hard to get everyone together like this in America because you know everyone's too occupied with TV and the internet. It's different. It's, it's a whole lot different than, you know, death in America. They're, they're here celebrating. 
Right now, a lot of the graves are decorated with flowers, candles, some of them have toys. You know, some people are around eating dinner, just kind of being there with their loved ones, even though they're not there, it's kind of just, it's just they're sharing a moment with the ones that have passed on. I like all the toys that they have. Yeah. Hola, buenas noches. ¿Qué haciendo? Mis abuelas acá, su familia, su descendencia, su abuelito, su abuelo, toda una descendencia está acá. Entre de ellas estaban músicos, mi abuelita que era su molendera, su papá que era campesino. I dance, I dance with the people, now you gotta sing. This guy's got like, he has the best grave on the block. He's got his pitcher and his boombox kicking out his favorite jams. Tonight we spent a good part of the night in these graveyards, which is unreal because people are actually having fun in the graveyard. You know, when was the last time you went to the graveyard and had fun and with your friends and family? You know, they're out here selling peanuts, cotton candy. You know, people are drinking beer. I believe the whole spirit of this night is to have fun with your friends and family. Es nuestra tradición de vestirnos de viejito, de mujer, de diablo, de diferentes disfraces. Y cada año se lleva acá esa tradición. Vamos a las municipales calles como tipo carnaval que le llaman. Vamos a la fiesta a celebrar y nos vamos a pachanguear. La máscara. It's like a little baby Mardi Gras. Watch all these crazy teenagers dancing on stilts. I could never do that. Way, way too uncoordinated. And they're serious, like four foot stilts. Hola. Hola. Dice, o sea, el Día de Muertos es como un tributo que se les brinda a, pues, a personas que ya, que ya fallecieron, pues. Lo que la persona se disfraza, el que ya falleció, o sea, quieren. Eh, Hacer una semejanza. Una semejanza de lo que fue él.
ya la tradición tiene miles de años, o sea, no, 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 no se ha acabado, todavía los jóvenes, los, la gente grande, las señoras, tratan de inculcártelo desde niño para que, o sea, lo sigas haciendo por años, no, no pierdas la tradición más que nada de, tu, de tus raíces. It's a whole different world out here. que se ponen los diablos es por gusto con el traje más elegante por eso les ponen cascabeles para que suenen we were just driving down this dirt road and we seen all these people blowing fire and So if we pulled over and came out, there was this, this house party. We were here for like not even five minutes and there's a band, a bunch of people dancing. They gave us, what, what is this? Ponche. Ponche. We got Ponche. And then the band quit and it cleared out. There's nobody here. In 30 <laughs> seconds. There they are down there already. Next house. Let's go. Let's go. And we have to go. We have we to have go. To we have to go. Them. We have to go. Okay. Let's go to the next place. Bye. I think Day of the Dead is just it's a little something for everyone, you know. I definitely believe that the Day of the Dead brings the families and the community closer together because it's it's kind of just a joint effort. Everyone's all they're all there for the same reason. They're all having fun. They're all remembering, you know, the ones that have passed on. The Mexicans they they don't fear death. They they embrace it. There's a Oaxaca saying that says, we're not here for a long time, we're here for a good time. And that's how you need to live your life. Goodbye to all my friends. Adios. Until we celebrate again next year, this is Senor Huesos, or Mr. Bonds, saying... Hasta luego! La despedida. Thank you so much for showing me around this No, day. thank you to you. You know, I, I would have lost without you. You know, you showed me around, you explained to me what all, all this is for, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you. I'm glad. All right, goodbye.